Hey fam, what's up? I am here. I'm back. It's me, Heaven, and I'm doing another video. This is actually a what's in my everyday makeup bag. All right, so this little coach bag was given to me by my beastie, Megan. We all know and love her. And this is just what I carry around in my purse to bring to work every day when I decide to do my makeup. So I'm about to go through everything that's in here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Three. Let's go in order of importante. The first thing that I have here is a translucent pressed powder from e.l.f. This is a staple of mine in my bag. This is the second one that I purchased. The first one I had hit pan on. I'm talking about I used it to the point that what was in there had crumbled off of the pan. I was like scraping around the edges to get to shit, okay? Not only is it translucent, so it really doesn't show much color. It also mattifies my face, okay? Um, and when you look at it, like, again, really, like, when I put it on, I'll put it on my whole face and concentrate more so on this side of my face, which is where I am more sunburned. Well, just look at my chest. My chest is super red, okay? Just so that you can get a, a depth of how, of why I use this, all right? That's it. Like, it doesn't cover my freckles. It doesn't cover anything like that it just literally it just tones down the redness in my face and helps um and helps like i said it helps mattify it okay so and i don't put it on my chest i should Ugh. like i'm doing this now and i'm noticing how many freckles i have it's ridiculous the sun down here in florida is real okay but just that quick, just looking at it on camera and looking at it, you know, up close, you can tell the difference. Like it just, it tones it down, you know what I'm saying? So that my face is not extra, extra red, you know? And that's all that I use it for. Again, just to take the shine off my face and just to, um, <clears throat> Just to take the shine off my face, just to tone down the redness a bit, kind of even out my complexion a little bit. This is my go-to, trust me, and it's only $3. Like, what the hell? Next is, I don't do, um, I don't do blush, I don't do highlight, I don't do, um, eyeshadow when I'm going to work. Like, it's, it's very, very simple, and if you guys want, like, a get ready with me five minute tutorial, um, you know it's like five or ten minutes of, of how my face would look when i do my makeup usually in my car right before i go into work or in the bathroom on my break or whatever i'll hook you guys up just comment down below and let me know that all right next would be my uh series of eyeliners okay and i have five here i'll tell you why all right um the first that i have here is and i'll go in order of frequency of use is uh this is a covergirl perfect point plus okay it is an a black eyeliner on one side just a simple black eyeliner on one side and then it's got the uh smudge stick on the other okay that's all all right so if ever i needed to kind of smoke out an eye a little bit or if i just want to put black eyeliner on and that's it um this is just a perfect go-to eyeliner for me on the go on the run this pairs with it this is a i got this off of wish.com which i will show you guys that app trust me i have to show it to you that i think that's one of my next videos i'm gonna do it it's a bewitching steamy it's a liquid eye liquid eyeliner pencil <clears throat> which is not really cost me a dollar no and booked it it was free and then it was like a dollar shipping and handling so but it's one of the best uh, liquid eyeliners that I've come across it's not really liquid it's uh, um it's like a felt tip point it's really dark it's really good it's precise it helps me get my uh, my wings up I wind up actually pulling my everyday bag to the back to my office here when I do my makeup for my videos and stuff for my makeup to go out so that I can use this eyeliner it's not name brand it's not even drugstore this comes from like japan or china or something but it's the bomb diggy the next two that i use are this is me incorporated or at me 
is what it looks like it's supposed to say. I got this in a boxy charm a while ago. It's got a sharpener on the lid and it is in amethyst is the color, which is just a purple. It's a dark purple color. When mixed with this, this is a uh, Hikari. Again, I got this one in a boxy charm as well. Okay, um, this is in the color Iris. It is a purple liner. Okay, so if I'm feeling a little feisty, I got my little purple to go on. They say that purple is an excellent color for someone with hazel eyes, and I have hazel eyes, so you know, works for me. The last one is for when I'm really, really feeling rebellious. And I remember getting this in a boxy charm and going, what the fuck am I ever going to do with this, right? <laughs> but I actually use it every once in a while. It's difficult to use. It's Pure Minerals Double Ego. It's a dual end eyeliner. So one side, not this side. All right. So on this side, you have your regular pencil. Okay. And I don't use this stuff often because... This shit does not come off with makeup remover at all, okay? This comes out in, and I don't know if it's gonna transfer, <clears throat> if you're gonna see it on camera or not, but this comes out like a blue, like a dark, like a, it's not dark, it's like a, it's like a dark teal kind of color. Basically, the color that you see this pencil, that is the color of the eyeliner, okay? Now, to go with it, and this is where fear sets in, because this shit does not budge, it doesn't move it's hard to take off but it looks so stinking pretty so stinking pretty look at that color let me tell you something I don't know what blue something that should be used you know girl for hazel eyes or whatever but I absolutely love using this shit so this is in my everyday bag as well because again my moods change from time to time because you know that's my prerogative as a woman to change my mind and I like having options when I decide to do my makeup all right so next is mascara I've got three different mascaras okay and I will tell you why I have three different mascaras um one is superhero by it this is a really good mascara um, it doesn't clump up it's not flaky it really holds my eyelashes in place this is great like I have no complaints about it you guys have seen the reviews for this all online all over YouTube this is a great mascara I like the fact that it's small I did get this in I think one of my Sephora boxes um, it might have been a boxy charm I don't remember but this is my standby to go with <clears throat> this is another one that I got I don't remember when I got it this is for if I'm on the go and I'm going out somewhere um, I think this is a Lancome I'm not sure but this gives my it's like a fuller look for my eyelashes so yeah and then this one is the Rimmel uh, Wonder Lash with Argan Oil okay it's waterproof this I use on my bottom lashes all the time all the time all the time I use this it's in black it's just you know a regular whatever all of these are in black all my mascaras are in black but this one I put on my my bottom lashes uh, just because I do tear up a lot if it's windy if I'm driving and I have the window open or the AC on sometimes I'll tear up and I don't want for you know for it to streak or whatever um so waterproof is definitely the way to go all right last but not least it's lips okay and I think I'm going to add this lip color in as well hmm. Hmm. I don't know we'll see so I've got lips basically to cover all occasions because again this is my everyday makeup bag so it not only goes by how I feel but the circumstances that I find myself in so if I find myself that I'm out uh, during the day usually at work okay um, I will use this one. This is uh, Mana Beauty Simplified. It's in the color Lucky, okay? And um, it's a really, really cute, everyday kind of color. Like, this is a color that I can wear all the freaking time, and it looks nice. It looks natural. You can tell I have lipstick on, but it's not too much lipstick. It's really good. This second one is um, an Ofra Liquid Lipstick. 
I don't know what color this is in. I'm sorry. Um, but this is just for if I want to go a little bit bolder with my lip choice. Um, if I want something just a little bit darker than, you know, my everyday choice, I have this one. Okay. <clears throat> and then if I find myself in a situation where, and I find myself in these situations a lot, where it's heading towards the evening night time and someone's like, hey, let's go out to dinner or let's whatever, whatever, and I've got to kind of just pull my face together, I have my standby e.l.f. products. I have my um, lip liner in the color Berry Sorbet. And with this, I will line my lips. Okay. And you guys know with these e.l.f. lipsticks, you've got a sharpener in the bottom. So you can definitely uh, get some precision here line your lips um so i'll line my lips in that color okay and then this is the lipstick this is a uh, wine tour by elf this is the moisturized moisturizing lipstick okay so that's what that looks like and what i'll do is it's and let me show you over here where i have a little more control over how i apply this color okay so i don't mess it up um so what I'll do is, is I'll fill in my lips with this color because this stick does not move at all. Does not budge off your lips. I mean, it's not like uh, what I'm wearing now, which is, um, which is a ColourPop liquid lipstick. It's not like this, like this shit doesn't move at all, you know, but this, the wear on this is really, really good for a $3 freaking lip, lipstick. Like I'll just take the wine tour and put it on over it. It basically makes the same color it deepens it up it's ready for nighttime it's ready for whatever you know and when that wears off I still have the other one underneath it so it looks pretty good so anyway guys that's it I just wanted to pop in say what's up say hi to you guys and give you guys a really really quick uh, look into my everyday makeup bag leave any comments down below if you have any suggestions of what I might put in I am looking to start rotating stuff out this stuff has been in my bag for a while now um, and I'm looking for suggestions of new things that I should put in there um, I do want to start incorporating items that I get from BoxyCharm things that I get from the dollar store things that I get from the drugstore kind of just swapping them out there just so that I can get more practice using them Okay, so any suggestions are more than welcome. You guys know where you can find me, Real Talk Heaven, on all my social media, everywhere you go. And I will catch you guys later. Bye.